who picking on the young man. Now, I, now he want to make me look like I'm the old nigga who picking on the young man. Y'all get in here. Slim Bodie, now he want to cry and holler about, all oh, you 50 years old, nigga. I ain't close to 50, bitch ass nigga. You did all that talking, playing and all that shit, man. You did all that talking and playing tough. Now you want to holler about, man, you 50 years old. Man, that's what killed me about you tough guy ass niggas. Now, Slim Body don't want to be tough no more. Slim Body want to talk about, say, man, y'all get tax, tax, Slim Body, man. Slim Body, man, y'all sick of you rapping ass nigga. Nigga, I'm on my way. I'm leaving out of here with the well-to-do folk, nigga. Yeah, Slim Body. Now Slim Body saying, oh, man, you 50 years old, man. You you ain't supposed to. You supposed to have, oh, man, going on, Slim Body. Yeah, at first you were talking about whooping me. Yeah, I didn't know who you was. first you were talking about whooping me, Slim Body. Now I get on your broke ass. Now, nigga, you hollering by. Look what he say, y'all. Let me see. Uh, uh, slim bolded nigga. Look what the nigga done said. Now we got to take this all the way back. Now the nigga go get on her. First he say I'm irrelevant. Do anybody know Slim Body? Slim Bodie, Slim Body, Slim Booty, Slim, whatever the boy name is. Do anybody know the boy? This is the boy right here. Now he gonna make this post and say he ain't gonna go back and forward with me. Nigga, you can't go back and forward with me. For one, you ain't got no car. Two, you're homeless. And three, you're broke. You can't go back and forward with a nigga that got four, five different foreign cars, nigga. Got a big old motherfucking house. Got plenty of motherfucking money that take trips all around the motherfucking country. And you just got out of jail, nigga. You definitely can't go back and forward with me. You the one got in this lane, nigga. You thought you was somebody. You thought you was a hell of a motherfucking nigga, nigga, didn't you? I know you did. You thought you said what you say. Nigga, y'all wait till I get my phone. You a nigga who just got out of jail and the excitement of your day was that you found a Slim body, you went to fucking with me, you went to making threats, you went to hollering by you a whoop me and go back to jail. You might in fact, nigga, you said you'll whoop me and go back to jail. Scared the shit out of me, nigga. I didn't know who you were. I didn't know nothing about you. Nigga, I went to call in the ram. The preliminary reports about you was that everybody you fight, they say you beat up everybody you fight. Well, then when I got past the preliminary reports and got to some more kind of people that kind of knew you from the stop six area, they say you really don't fight nobody. Then when I went to getting higher up the ladder, speaking with the G niggas, they said you was a nobody nigga. You don't fight nobody. You a nigga who think he tough and you ain't never whooped no tough niggas. They say you really a Tyler boy. You migrated down to the stop six area. You really ain't from stop six. They say you, you a nobody nigga. You a flunky. You want to be a rapper. They say you said you was going to be the nigga that whooped Go Yeah Yo. They said when you saw Go Yeah Yo nigga, you didn't do nothing but shake his hand because you were scared of Big Coon Poppy, whatever the boy name is. Yeah, the nigga all you niggas scared of. They say you were scared of Big Coon Poppy, Slim Body. So you shook hands with the hood fame legendary Go Yeah Yo, boy. They say you was running around talking about what you was going to do to Go Yeah Yo. What you, how you was going to do Yeah Yo. They said you said you was going to DDT the boy. Then get a boy rabbit ear. They say the first time. You run across Go Yeah Yo, they say all that tough guy shit you were talking without the wonder. They say you became friendly. They say the reason you became friendly with Go Yeah Yo, cause you scared of Coon Poppy and you didn't want no problem with Coon Poppy, nigga. That's what they told me about you, nigga. So after I get all the information on your riding, no good motherfucking ad with your walking ad. Now you talking about you a drive all the way from Tyler. Now here it is. I'm thinking you got a car. I'm thinking and you got a car. Come to find out, nigga, you can't drive from Tyler. You got to try to call Ill. You got to try to call Lyft. You got to try to get an Uber driver. Or you got to try to pray. Boy, they done eat your ass up. And, and <laughs> yeah, somebody reporting it. They don't want me talking about you, Slim Bodie. Yeah, somebody trying to report it. They trying to stop.
stop the lie. But guess what, nigga? You asked for this. I woke up, I, I woke up talking about punks and homosexuals. Niggas, for some reason, you got mad, went on there, went to hollering about that the Mexicans don't run the penitentiary. I told you, bitch ass nigga, the Mexicans do run the penitentiary because they the ones that can get the dope in there. You niggas can't get no dope in there. Nigga, you broke, so now you wanna holler about Hold on, I'm finna get to y'all what this nigga holler about, y'all. Yeah, nigga Slim Bodie tried, he got on his Facebook live, he got on their line, talking about I ain't got no motherfucking Benz truck, nigga, I got the Benz truck, nigga, come on, bitch ass, nigga, I got the Benz, nigga, I got the Benz truck, the GL450, Fomatic, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, broke ass, nigga, you ain't got a goddamn thing, you don't know nothing about nothing, nigga, I'm out here, and, and is this a foreign car he's in? Yes, ma'am. I'm in a 750 right here. I got the GL450 Fomatic Benz truck. I got the CLK Drop Top Tudo Benz Coupe. I got the BMW truck. And I got this fully loaded 750 LI bad motherfucker. And got the work truck right there. So, yeah. And I'm out here in the $300,000 houses living better than any of you poor niggas could ever imagine on, on this Memorial Day. But say, Slim Bodie, so you tried to talk all that shit. Nigga, didn't, you didn't even know me. I didn't know you, but you thought you gonna get out here just getting out of jail thinking you're a hell of a motherfucking nigga just as broke and poor in the motherfucker as you is, nigga. Just as broke and poor as you is. You ain't got no car. You're sitting up there in your grandmama or your mama and them small ass apartment, nigga. You're hurt nappy. You ain't got no new clothes. You ain't got no money in your pocket. All you doing is talking shit, nigga. Talking about how you can whoop somebody, nigga. You a motherfucking liar, nigga. Every broke ass nigga, that's all y'all talk about. Is who y'all go try to whoop, who y'all wanna whoop, who y'all done whoop, and who y'all might whoop, nigga. Sorry, no good motherfucking nigga. You poor and broke. That's all you can talk about, nigga. You full of hot air, cause you ain't full of money, hello. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, you ain't full of money, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> let's see, the head lets you know it's a phone. You can look at that motherfucking tail, it's a phone. Shit, nigga, don't know.